Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to learn how to implement paging. In our previous video, we have learned how to implement sorting. If you are interested in all the related videos, you can find playlist link in the description. You can go through the videos. I have opened index view. We are going to start with the design. In this view, we have a table which displays data. At the bottom, we are going to design paging links. I will add a div tag and I will specify the class. I'm going to Again, I'm going to use bootstrap grid system. I will add two columns and second column. In the second column, I will add nav tag. Inside this, I will add an ordered list. Now, I will add these two classes, patientation and justify content end. Now, I will add few list items. See, this is first list item. Look at the class. Here, we have added page item class. And to this anchor tag, we have added page link. Text black will make the text black. We have added first, previous. Here I have hard coded few items. Later we are going to modify this to dynamic content. And we have two more buttons, next and last. Let's see how does it look. It looks like this. This is our index action method from employee controller. This action method takes search string as parameter. This search string is used to handle search functionality and it takes one more parameter that is sort order. This parameter is used to handle sort functionality. Now we are going to modify this method to handle pagination. Now this method will take one more parameter int page number. Look at this line. Here we are fetching all the employee records from database. Look at the method signature. We are returning a list. List is suitable if you want to retrieve all the data from database and work with the entire data set as a list in memory. Now I will modify the return. I will change the return type to iQueryable. Also I have changed the code a little bit. Now I am using select method. This returns iQueryable. iQueryable is suitable if you want to work with the data in a deferred manner and apply additional filtering, sorting or paging using link queue before materializing the results. Even in iEmployee repository interface, I have, I have modified the method signature. Now we are going to create a class that is going to help us with pagination. Here we have models folder. I will right click on models folder, add class. I will name it as paginated result. Click on add. I will make this a generic class. In C sharp, a generic class is a class that is defined with one or more type parameters, allowing you to create a class that can work with different data types without specifying those types at compile time. Here T is the type parameter. Now I will add few properties to this class. I have added items, total items, page index, page size, total pages. Later you will understand why we have added these properties. Now I'm going to add constructor to this class. Now I'm going to add parameters to this constructor. First I will map the page index. Now I will calculate total pages. Also I have mapped items. And also we are going to calculate, see, has first page. If page index is greater than one, it will be true. Then has next page. If page index is less than total pages, here we have first index item. See, this is the value. And also we have calculated last item index. Now I will write a method which will actually perform pagination. This will be public method. It will be create async. And this method will be static async method which will return paginated list. This method will take few parameters. They are source, page index, and page size. In this code, source represents the data source, and page index represents current page number you want to retrieve, and page size is the number of items to display per page. First, we are going to calculate the count. We are using source, and we are calling count async method. This line counts the total number of items in the data source. We are using await keyword because count async is the asynchronous method. This is the actual paging logic. Let's understand this statement. In this statement, we are using skip method and we are passing a value which is page index minus one. Whatever the value we get, we are multiplying that with page size. This will 
This skips over the items that come before the start of the current page. See, here we are using skip method. This skip method bypasses a specified number of elements in a sequence and then returns the remaining elements. For example, if page index is 2 and page size is 10, it would skip the first 10 elements. Next, we are using take method and we are passing page size. This selects the next page size items after the skipping. See, this take method returns a specified number of contiguous elements from the start of a sequence. For example, if page index is 2 and page size is 10, this would take items from 11 to 20. Next, we are using toList async method. This method executes the query and materializes the results into a list asynchronously. Next, we are going to return new instance of paginated list. Now we are going to call this create async method from employee controller. This is our index action method. Instead of returning this way, I will, now I will return paginated data. I will remove this line and instead I will add this code. See, here we are returning this paginated list and we are calling this create async method. We are passing employees, page number and page size and we get paginated result. This is our index view. I'm using this paginated list as model. Now I will run this application. See, as we have specified page size as 5, we are able to, we are displaying 5 records. But if I click on first, previous or any of these buttons, they are not working. See, here we have, here we have used now tag to design pagination. Here we have a link. This is our first button. See, we are using class page item. Now I will add one more class disabled, but I will write a code. I will make sure that it, that this button should be disabled if it is the first page. I will write at symbol, then I will write model dot page index equals one, then the class should be disabled else I will specify empty string instead of this href attribute I will use ASP route page number and I will specify the value 1 as this is the first page see even to this previous button I have specified the class if has previous page is true then it will be empty otherwise we are going to use disabled class. We are going to calculate the page number model or page index minus one. That is going to be the page number for this previous button. See, here we have hard coded the page numbers. We are going to make it dynamic. I'm going to replace this code with this for loop. We are using this for loop. We are looping through this total pages. Then we are adding, then we are dynamically adding this list item. We are using page index. We are comparing page index with I and we are deciding the class. Here we have specified ASP route page number. Next we have next and last buttons. I will replace this code with this code. See here we are deciding the class. We are using has next page and using page index and total pages we are deciding the class and we have specified ASP route page number. Now, now it's time to test these changes. I will click on list all employees. See, we have received sort order null, search string null, page number zero. I'll click on continue. As page size is five, first page has five records. See, first button is disabled as we are at the first page. Previous button is also disabled. We are at the first page. I will click on second page. See, search string null, sort order null, page number is 2. I will click on continue. See, this time we have displayed rest of the three records. Now, the first button is enabled, previous button is enabled, first button is enabled, but next and last are disabled because we are at the last page. This is how we can implement pagination. If you want to refer to the source code, please check the description. You will get the GitHub link. That's it for today's session. In our next video, we are going to work on the home page. 
see you soon in the next video thank you